Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video. In today's video, I am going to give you a prep update. You guys asked for a prep vlog on my Instagram stories, so here it is. I am closing in on seven weeks out. It's currently Friday, April 16th, and uh, just coming up to eight o'clock, and I've had my breakfast, I've done my cardio, my stretching, all my normal things. And what I'm going to do in this video is take you through a few days in the life on prep. So I'll take you through Friday, Saturday and Sunday and I'll post this video on Monday. And this is the current situation. Just gone eight o'clock in the morning. We come out into the garden. Milo has a little play. We run around like this. Yep. And then I have to do the duties of picking up all of the dog poo. This is stuff that you do not see on my Instagram stories. Perks of being a dog mum. So I'm going to pick up all of this turd and then I'm going to head into the office to record a podcast. I have just finished recording this podcast episode. I'm going to upload it now and then I'm going to go and get my pre-workout meal before I head to the gym and I'll show you how that's changed because we've dropped calories slightly, my cardio has increased by just five minutes, and I've already seen a drop in weight, and I've got check-in tomorrow. But, do you want to see Milo? Yeah, that's where he sits. So if you listen to this podcast episode, drop me a message because I pause halfway through because he's snoring so, so loudly. This is my pre-workout meal. You would have seen it in a previous vlog. It is cream of rice and 20 grams of whey, but my cream of rice has now gone down from 50 to 40. So that's one of the changes that was made this week. My post-workout cream of rice is also down to 40. So there's been a small reduction in my carbs this week and five minutes extra lists added to my post-workout cardio. So I'm going to eat this up now. <laughs> And then I'm gonna to head to the gym. I've got my upper body session to go. And yeah, I might film some bits at the gym for you guys too. So that's my upper body session, completely smashed. Done my cardio, done my posing. I'm feeling really good. And I managed to increase on some of my reps for my workout and my dumbbell shoulder press is back up. So I'm going to insert a clip here now so you guys can see, but I'm really happy that my strength is back after having that niggle in my shoulder. But I'm going to head home now, get my post-workout meal and I'll catch you guys in a bit. What are you going for? <laughs> Take that first one, please. Right. Three, two, one. Okay. Let's go. With me. Yeah. Finish. Finish. Oh, oh shit. Fuck. Hey, I'm right. Sick. Back to rest that. My lowest weight today as well. There you go. Cheers, mate. Back home now all showered, post-workout meal, has been eaten, I'm feeling very good, and it is Friday, which means it's quite a chill day for me in terms of work. I don't have client check-ins, I don't have business coaching calls, but on Fridays and Saturdays, I tend to book in coaching calls with potential new clients, and I write new plans. So, I'm going to be sitting on that sofa this afternoon with my laptop on my lap. It's probably one of the only days where I'm not in the office working and hubby will be joining me on that side of the couch. And we're probably gonna work all afternoon on our laptops and then go out this evening for a chilled night out with friends. A good few hours later, three new plans done, one business coaching call, inquiry done. It's now just gone half past five. I need to go and get my next meal, prepare my final meal, and get ready to go out tonight. 
That's mummy's dinner ready to go. My last meal to take with me. Milo's finished his dinner. Stitchy's had his. And Darren's cooking up his meal to take with as well. All ready to go, just waiting for Darren to prepare his meal. And then we're gonna head out. I'm gonna take my meal with me and I will vlog a little bit on my phone and insert it in here afterwards. A very sweaty hit cardio session completed and it's my last hit session of the week so that's 45 minutes of cardio done including 20 minutes of hit I'm now going to quickly shower get my posing suit on and I've got my posing practice with rear girl and then my check-in upstairs with hubby So that is me all checked in for Saturday. Big drop in weight this week. I'm down to 152 pounds this morning compared to last week where I was 154.5. It's just gone 9 a.m. now. I'm going to get my pre-workout meal in and then I'm gonna to head to the gym and get my last session in for the week. I've tied my hair up. I've got it in a bun. It's going to be a pretty hefty glutes and hamstring session. So I'm gonna smash that session, get home nice and early. I've got lots of work to do, so I will chat to you guys in a bit. Just got home from the gym, and as you can see, I have a massive bowl of cream of rice to consume. Not only am I getting a refeed today I'm actually getting another refeed again tomorrow so this is my first ever two-day refeed and I've got a lot of carbs coming my way so this morning I had my normal breakfast which you guys see all the time 40 grams of cream of rice 100 grams of mixed berries four egg whites some spinach and then I had my pre-workout meal and then on the way to the gym I got a message from hubby two-day refeed coming my way so from this meal onwards I've got a lot of carbs coming my way. Wow, that is 600 grams of cooked cream of rice and pineapple, plus my 20 grams of whey. That is a lot of food. I'm going to eat this really quickly and then I need to go and shower, make myself more presentable because I'm heading into the office for my second module of my Business with Bex webinar and I will pick you guys back up after that. Just gone 2 p.m. I finished my call with my Business with Bex webinar clients and we went through content creation today and it was such a great call. But now I need to get to work. I have a lot of check-ins to get through and I need to get ahead of these check-ins today because I've got a girl competing tomorrow, Amy, and I need to be on my phone 24 seven with her to make sure that she's ready for her show, got all her meals in. So I'm going to attack as many as I can today and then I'll pick you guys back up for my next refeed meal. Time for my next meal. And look how much rice I've got. I've got 100 grams of chicken, I've got some broccoli, and I've got 250 grams of rice. I'm very excited. And the other thing I forgot to mention is that with all of my meals, because they're high in carbs, I'm going to be taking three of my glucose tablets as well. Next up, I have got salmon. Yes, salmon, Milo. <laughs> my normal salmon. My normal bowl is life, big veggie bowl that I always order on a Saturday as kind of a treat, but it's not a treat because it's just vegetables. I've added some broccoli to it and then I've got to have a lot of rice with this meal as well. 
So I'll be taking some glucose. I'm gonna have a diet drink in there. Got my BCAs to drink. I've been keeping my water up today as well. But first, I need to feed these two. Yeah. Is it time to feed you, Stitchy? Yeah. Got to feed these two little monsters. And you guys thought I ate fast. That is 130 grams of salmon, 150 grams of jasmine rice and a whole lot of veg. This makes me so, so happy. Most definitely feeling nice and full after all of that rice and yeah, carb veins are now a thing you know that it's getting real when those veins start to come out and just the smallest amount of carbs just make your veins go a little bit crazy. I am now going to go and sit on the sofa and watch the rest of the show. I've got some friends that are competing in the UK today. I've got a client that is competing tomorrow in another show. I'm going to pop my bum there, we'll watch this show and then I'll show you my last meal. Final meal of the day is my normal junk bowl. 150 grams of zero fat Greek yogurt mixed with one scoop of chocolate greens, one scoop of fiber powder from AD, 50 grams of gorgeous blueberries, one square of dark chocolate and some calorie free chocolate sauce. So I'm going to eat this up. I'm going to finish watching the show and I'm taking myself off to bed. My calories today are up by 700, all from carbs. So I'm up to 2,400 plus calories today, whereas normally I'm on 1,700. And then tomorrow there's more. everyone it is now Sunday the 18th of April and it is 8 a.m. in the morning I'm just about to tuck into this delicious meal I've got 50 grams of cream of rice 100 grams of mixed berries I've got three egg whites one whole egg and a slice of toast this is meal one of refeed day number two and this morning I weighed in at 153 pounds so only one pound up after 350 grams of carbs yesterday. So today we're aiming to get in 450 grams plus. <sighs> I'm excited to say the least and I'm looking forward to sharing it all with you guys. Milo, I literally only cleaned this up like not even two days ago. <sighs> I cannot wait to take him out for walkies and then we don't have to clean up. Poo in the garden. Okay, are you ready? Which one? Which one? Go! Good boy! No, you've got to bring it back! Right, ready? Steady, go! Come on! Come on! Come on! Good boy, come on! No! <laughs> Right, you ready? Go! <laughs> Are you supposed to bring me the toy, not eat my hand? <gasps> Finished all client check-ins, plans have been updated. 
all the Loom videos have been sent and it's 10 a.m. I'm so pleased I got ahead of this last night because now it means I can focus on my client who's competing today and also get all of this food in. My next meal is four rice cake thins with 30 grams of cashew butter, same as I always have on my rest day, and 20 grams of whey blended with water. So I'm gonna eat this up and I've got a little bit more work to do and I'm gonna try and grab Darren to explain why I'm having this refeed. So babe, do you wanna tell the people why we are having this refeed today? All right, so Bex has been prepping for 13 weeks, steadily dropping to two pounds a week roughly. Um, over the last, I'd say three, four weeks that has got faster, so she's been dropping three, four pounds in a week. And for me, when you're dropping more than two pounds in a week at this point, um, it's gonna have a negative effect on fatigue and energy levels. What we're looking to do, we had one refeed about a week or two ago, um, and what I noticed with that with just the small refeed was it didn't really bump her up enough. You know, her weight went up slightly the next day, but within two days she was back down and energy levels were low. So based on Becky's metabolism and how well she copes with carbs, she usually has quite a high carbohydrate diet. Um, in order to refeed her fully, she needs quite a lot of carbohydrates. So if we were to try and fit that in over one day, she's gonna have digestion issues. She's gonna feel sluggish the next day. Um, so to get the amount of carbs we need in, uh, we need to push that over two days. So what we're doing is a two day refeed. I think yesterday was about 350, 400, and today is uh, a little bit more. And today will include a sushi meal, which will be the exact same sushi meal she did the last day, so it is um, consistent. Um, so we can track all the variables to see moving forward. And what we'll do is tomorrow we'll gather data, we'll see what her weight is, as she feels, and then we'll, we'll continue through the week, see how energy levels are, and we'll see if this amount was enough. Awesome, thank you. With that all being said, it's time for my next meal. I've now got 200 grams of rice, I've got 100 grams of steak, which I normally have on a rest day, and some broccoli. So I'm gonna eat that up now, and then I've got two coaching calls in the office, and then I'll catch you guys a bit later. Time for my next meal, 200 grams of white jasmine rice, 120 grams of chicken, some broccoli and don't mind that noise in the background we are currently watching the two bros event live streaming it from the uk but the music on stage is absolutely terrible <laughs> stitchy you're not too impressed no It's just coming up to six o'clock now. I've ordered my next meal. As Darren mentioned, I have got sushi on the way. I'm still watching the show. I've been messaging my girl, Amy, back and forth. She's gone to go and get her second coat of tan. Then she's checking in with me. I cannot wait to see her on stage. You can probably hear Milo down there eating his dinner. I will show you my next meal when it arrives, but I'm gonna jump on a quick Zoom call now with my whole team, which I always do every Sunday at 6 p.m., and I'll catch you guys soon. Check it out. I've got a whole platter of sushi to myself, and this time I remembered what I ordered. This is the sweet potato crunch roll, which has got a prawn and crab base with sweet potato crunchy bits on top. This is the Alaska roll, which is smoked salmon and crab sticks and is absolutely delicious. This is what they call the rock and roll, tuna and salmon and avocado and oh, just really, really nice and got lightly crispy bits of tempura on top. And this is probably one of my favorite, the crunchy crazy roll and this one's got shrimp tempura it's covered with sweet chili sauce look at that tempura tail yum so i'm going to devour this whilst watching the two bros event on the tv and i will pick you guys back up when i'm done 32 pieces of sushi consumed and if you ask me to eat another 32 pieces i could probably do it it didn't touch the sides and 
honestly after all the food i've had today i feel full but i don't feel bloated i feel really satisfied and i'm excited to see what my weight's going to be tomorrow how i'm going to feel for the week ahead but i've got one last meal to have but first things first i need to go and watch my girl on stage Guys, I am over the moon for Amy, her first ever time competing as a bikini competitor and she not only came second in one of her classes, she came first in the open and went through to the overall. I'm just, I'm so, so happy for her and I'm so, so proud of her. I'm going to jump on a call with her now very quickly just to congratulate her in person and then I'm going to make my last meal, I'm going to show you that and then I'm heading off to bed. But it looks like someone's already ready for bed. Are you, are you snuggled in there? Are you comfy? <laughs> you guys know by now, my last meal, my favorite meal of the day, my supplements, my vitamin C, a cup of tea. I'm gonna eat this and then I will check in with you guys in the morning and we'll see what my weight is, how I'm feeling and how things are going to progress in the week. Monday the 19th of April, the morning after my two day refeed and we worked out that I had approximately over 850 grams of carbs over those two days which is bloody awesome and as Darren mentioned my body handles carbs really really well so the fact that I'm only four pounds up this morning is great. I was feeling really great when I went to bed last night, I was feeling full, I had a great night's sleep, I was buzzing for my cardio this morning, had loads of energy and I'm ready to smash another week ahead. Moving forward, because of the way in which my body is responding, we are going to implement midweek check-ins, which means I will be checking in with my coach and husband on a Wednesday and a Saturday. And I'm really excited to push on with prep. And if you want to see more updates from me, then head over to my Instagram. I share lots of my stories. I'll be posting my midweek check-ins there as well. But for now, I'm going to close off this video. I hope you found it really interesting and useful and enjoyed watching me eat all of the food. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video very, very soon. Bye for now, guys.